Article 7 of the United States Constitution sets the number of state ratifications necessary in order for the Constitution to take effect and prescribes the method through which the states may ratify it. Topic: <laughs> Text The ratification of the conventions of nine states, shall be sufficient for the establishment of this constitution between the states so ratifying the same. <inaudible> <inaudible> Background On September 20, 1787, three days after its adoption by the Constitutional Convention, the drafted constitution was submitted to the Congress of the Confederation for its endorsement. After eight days of debate, the opposing sides came to the first of many compromises that would define the ratification process. The Confederation Congress voted to release the proposed Constitution to the states for their consideration, but neither endorsed nor opposed its ratification. <laughs> ratification The Constitution was ratified by the 13 states between December 7, 1787 and May 29, 1790 as follows. Implementation In 1787 and 1788, following the Constitutional Convention, a great debate took place throughout the United States over the Constitution that had been proposed. The supporters of the Constitution began the ratification campaign in those states where there was little or no controversy, postponing until later the more difficult ones. On July 21, 1788, New Hampshire became the ninth state to ratify the Constitution, thus establishing it as the new framework of governance for the United States. Though officially enacted, four states, Virginia, New York, North Carolina and Rhode Island remained outside the new government. The Congress of the Confederation chose March 4, 1789 as the day for commencing proceedings under the Constitution. Virginia and New York ratified the Constitution before the members of the new Congress assembled on the appointed day to bring the new government into operation. After twelve amendments, including the ten in the Bill of Rights, were sent to the states in June 1789, North Carolina ratified the Constitution. Finally, Rhode Island, after having rejected the Constitution in a March 1788 referendum, called a ratifying convention in 1790. Faced with the threat of being treated as a foreign government, it ratified the Constitution by the narrowest margin two votes. See also Timeline of drafting and ratification of the United States Constitution The Federalist Papers Anti-Federalist Papers Topic External links Gary Lawson and Guy Seidman, When Did the Constitution Become Law? 77 Notre Dame L. Rev.1 Steve Mount, The Federalists and Anti-Federalists, Use Constitution. Net 2003